uh, it says about an animal. It says an extra pasuk <coughs> that the Kayan will atone for him. Be'el ha'asham. Now, so they said that extra word, be'el ha'asham, that extra uh, mention of an animal, is telling me that, that where do you get the repeated me'ila is only by an animal. Rabbi Nechemya Amarlach, Rabbi Nechemya says, Kal v'chaymen. There's a kal v'chaymen. Im achirim may be l'ktushasen hu atzme le'kolshken. Rabbi Nechemya says, you, you may have a point. However, I have a kal v'chaymen. A kleisharis makes something kaidash. And if it makes things kaidash, and those items are going to have me'ila, so shouldn't, shouldn't the article itself that makes other, the, the vessel, the utensil that makes mm-hmm. other things kaidash itself have me'ila? Where do you get the ma'alach and ma'al from that it doesn't explain? He just says, but it should, yeah, I get it, it should, should have me'ila. But what's the mile a mile? It's sort of like dial of um, Adin, you know. It can make it holy. It doesn't mean that it can make it holy. And oh, well, maybe what it means is that it can continuously make holy. Maybe that's what it means. Whatever is put in it, it makes it holy. And put in more things, it makes that holy. So therefore, me'ila would, have to would actually that. be uh, um, repeatedly. <clears throat> okay. Rabbi Yomer, kol davar she'in le'pidyon yesh chulo. Again, we have to repeat it with the word repidyon. The Gemara asks, "Sainatana kama? Anything that would could be redeemed um, should not have repeated meila. Only some that cannot be redeemed can have repeated meila." Because it can never be bought out of, removed from, from hektish. So the Gemara says, Hayna Tanakama. That's the same as the Tanakama. The Tanakama also said this. No. What about the Klesharis? The Klesharis could be, you know, maybe Klesharis can't be redeemed. Can, the, can, can a Klesharis be sold? And redeemed. So I, would assume, I assume it's. Uh, I, assume I, assume not I assume that it's considered bedeka bias. It belongs. It belongs to the hectares, and they could sell it and buy a new one. No. So that would have pidyon. How can they sell something that is holiness? And well, anything it? that's given to the. Uh, bias. So you can sell like a terrace. Yeah. They mm-hmm. would redeem it, right? So and, it would, and then it would be used as payment back to the right. Money laundering. Remember when they were building, right? right? It's hard. Yeah. Remember we had the money laundering. That was the money laundering. The money laundering. Selling back the terrorists. Okay. So we're going to give some examples over here where there would be a difference. Amar Rava, Ikebenayo Eitzim. The difference between Rabbi Nacham could be if someone donates wood. The Tanur Rabbanu Azza was taught in a brisa. This is crazy. If someone says, I'm accepting on myself to contribute wood to the temple. He has to give at least two slabs of, of wood. Rabbi Yomer, ate some carbon hate. Rabbi says that there's such a thing as carbon ate some. And it's considered like a sacrifice. Oh, it's a sacrifice. Tunim melech tunim tunufa. It requires the salt, like all the sacrifices, and it also requires to be waved. And Amar Rabbi, 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 ate some tunim ate some. You need wood to burn the wood. Because you don't just like the, like the sacrifice. You like the wood to burn the sacrifice. Yes, you just come back. And Vamarav Divri Rabbi You have to do Kmitza. You have to do Kmitza. Now, Kmitza is the uh, scoopful. Oh, right. Yeah, you'd have to tur- turn it into sawdust or something. Now, what are we getting from here? Um, 
if it's called Aitzim. And what happens if you, what happens if you give a stone to the temple, actually? It sounds like a basic mikdash. Like, how would you... Remember yeah. that story? Who was it? R- Rabbi yeah, famous, yeah. Han- Hanina Ben Daisa, Rabbi yeah. Nechonia. Who was it that, that polished the stone when he was poor? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and then the Malachim. The Malachim carried it. Was that Rabbi Hanina Ben Daisa? Don't get this right. We're running out of trophies. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so he didn't have no money. He didn't have money. Okay, so... Um, wood, according to the Rabbanon, is not a carbon, so it could be redeemed. So therefore, there's no mi'ila. But, achar mi'ila. There's no mi'ila, achar mi'ila. But according to Rabbi, where it's a carbon, it can't be redeemed. So according to Rebbe, um, there would be me'ila achar me'ila in this. That's what we're saying. Okay. Now, we have one other answer here. Rav Papa Amar, Kachi Mizbe, after Rav Papa added that according to Rebbe, Eitzim Tzirchim Kamisa, that's a quote from the other Gemara. Rav Papa now comes to answer over here. Rav Papa Amar, you see, Rav gave the first answer. Now Rav Papa gives it, Rav is the teacher of Rav Papa. Papa gives another answer. If we had a carbon that became a balmum, it wasn't supposed to shecht it. Then he went ahead and shechted it. So, would there be me'ila? And v'hatanya, this v'hatanya is a proof, not a, uh, not a question. Because v'ha could mean this or but. You can only tell from context. So, but Tanya, and this is what it was taught in Abraisa, that Kachim is beach tmim, and Manasa balimum, Vavar Shacht, and Rabbi Yemri Yikbaru, Rachamim Yiptu. So, the question is, the Machlekas here is, can you redeem something after it's been shechted? Do you need a carbon? Do you need Hamadavaracha? Rabbi says that you do need Hamadavaracha. He has to stand it out. We learned about this. Right. And um, and it yeah. can't stand up, so you can't redeem it. Oh, you can't redeem it. And then, so then that means <laughs> that there's repeated me'ila. Mm-hmm. According to the Rabbanan, where you can redeem it, then there's only one uh, one time me'ila. And after that, it's already considered removed from mm-hmm. its sanctity, and the price needs to be paid for it. Okay. Not all. Evan, Aikaira, Shalhektish. Someone takes, you remember this? You mentioned this before. Stone. Someone takes a stone or a beam from Hektish. So far, there's no Meila. What did he do? He's just walking around with it. If he transfers it to his friend, so now he already took it out of Hektish. I think the Gemara is going to say that we're the Gizbar. If he ta- if it's the Gizbar himself that takes it, see if someone actually went and stole from Hektish. The Gizbar is the treasure. The treasure, yeah. If the, um, the want, someone stole from Hektish, so he removed it from Hektish property. So then that would be Meila. But here we're talking about we are. It's the treasure himself that he takes it. So when it's in his in his pocket, it's anyways hectic. So now he just has intention that he's taking it, but he didn't really transfer. He didn't really transfer possession of it. So it was always in his possession. So that's why it's not going to be considered meila until he transfers it out of his possession. So the the rule is who mal v'chaver mal, who gets the meila, who, who. <laughs> the English and Hebrew. Who mal? He gets the meila. Um, he gets the meila, but not his not his friend. You follow? Okay. Let's say he builds it into his house. So harese loy mal. There's no meila yet. This is very interesting. He he put it into his house. Should be meila. Cut it up. He changed it. This to his brush though. Probably. But there's no me'ilat, she did until he lives under it. We're going to have to say that he didn't change it at all, because otherwise it would have 
it would have gone out of possession of Hector. Vishava Pruta. He lives under the amount of a Pruta. So you have to work out how much of a hotel costs. Rent. Natal Pruta shall Hector. If he takes a Pruta of Hector, she raises a lay mal. There's no meal. Does it have to be more than a Pruta or exactly? The minimal is the Pruta. More for sure is Mila. So, 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 I raise a limon. Nasla Chavei, right? If he gives it to his friend, so who mal? The giver is the, the gizbar, the giver, is the mal. And Chavei the limon, his friend doesn't get the Mila because this is the one that took it out of, the friend is the recipient, but the one that was Moitzi, the one that removed it from Hektish, that's the Mila. Nasla Labalan. Let's say he gave it to the, as the mikvah fee. Now, when's the me'ila going to take place? When he uh, comes out of the water and uses the towel. <laughs> says, no. Even if he doesn't go into the, to the bathhouse, it's already me'ila. Because the balan, the, the bathhouse uh, fellow, tells him, the door's open, go inside and use it. Knows that permission that he has is already fee. paid the fee. He's not already refundable. <laughs> right, it's not refundable. Achilase <laughs> Vachilas If he eats and he feeds to his friend. Now over here it's much clearer what we were talking about. Yesterday it was unclear. Yitzi explained it to me. But um, here explain it to me. Yeah. Rabbi Scroll. Art scroll. <laughs> so uh, he eats and his, his feeds to his friend. Hanayase v'anayas um, He in, has enjoyment and his friend has enjoyment. He gives the enjoyment to his friend. I guess probably you're talking about oil or something. Achilase v'anayas Let's say it's a combination. He eats and he smears the rest on his friend. Hanayase v'achilas chaveirei. He has enjoyment and his friend eats. Mitzar from zem zafilus man meruba. That will combine. We mentioned this. If he eats and his right. friend eats over long periods of time, right. it will combine. Right. We're talking about because he's feeding it to his friend, not just that his friend oh. also took another piece. The Gemara asks, "Maishnahu, maishnachaveri." What's the difference between him and his friend? It says, "Amr Shmuel begizbar amaseris layaskina." We're talking about the gizbar that he had permission to use it. So until he actually puts it into his house, there's no. Or until he actually uh, takes it out of his possession, there's not going to be any um, any me'ila. Should we stop here? Should we leave it over here? Yeah. Should I continue? Yeah. Okay, I'll go further. I'll yeah, go go further. This way makes uh, Yom Kippur easier. Okay. Um, tomorrow uh, is Davchav. Tomorrow's Monday. Tuesday is Davchav Aleph. That's a long day. And Chav Aleph is right. And... And then Tuesday is Arvin Kippur, right? Right. We will see him. Okay, so good. So if it's good if we're a little bit ahead because we wanted to, the 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 Chavbeis, <coughs> We wanted to do the Siyam on the day earlier. On Kippur. This, this is Yom Kippur, and we have a festivity. You, are you going to save money on the on the food? No, no, don't worry. What is this Siyam today? It's about time to make festivity on Yom Kippur. Bana b'tayich beisa yena chayev he builds it in his house. We'll finish the parrot. Yeah. Uh, he's only chayev until he lives under it. The Gemara says, Why does he have to live under it? Once he makes a shinoi, so he's already shinoi kaina. He's already uh, changing it. He leaves the possession. <laughs> he didn't make a change. If he would have made a change, you're right. But he's just putting it on top of a skylight. So a little board that he has, a plank. It's covering it over like a, a little um, curtain over the skylight. The Gemara now t- takes up another issue. If it was a sukkah, he just got rid of the sukkah. <laughs> That's what aruba means, a hole in aruba the, is a aruba skylight. Aruba is a yeah. hole in the ceiling. Yeah. It actually means a chimney. Chimney, yes. Aruba is a chimney. Aruba does remind the, the opening like a, like a square opening. Yeah. It's a very common word in... Um, where you have... Oh, it is a Masechta, and it's not a Masechta.
Over there you have Tuma. And if the may, if the corpse is in the house but he's under the skylight and and um yeah that's it's interesting because in Spanish Arriba is up and this is Aruba. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a wow, wow. Yeah, give, give him two. Just when we thought we were over. That's the cookie. It's like big every morning. This cookie. Sunny's bakery. What a bunny. It's open. Keeping the bunny. The gemara takes up a new issue. Keeping the bunny lay me a small. There's a little problem here. Because we said that there's no me'ila from something that's attached to the ground. But now he's building it into his house. How is there me'ila? Attached, his house is attached to the ground. Everything's becoming attached to the ground. There's no me'ila now. I mentioned that yesterday. We learned from Truma. That's one of the things we learned. It can't be attached to the ground. Let's say that there's a proof to Rav. Rav. You see, if someone bows down to the mountains, he wants to worship the mountains. So we say that that's not considered. He doesn't. He doesn't make the Avaydazara, the mountains into Avaydazara, because it says al the gods that are on the mountains, but not the mountains themselves. So the same thing should really be a house which is attached to the ground. It should be the same thing. But Rav says no. If someone bows down to a house, he makes it also. The house is considered detached. So this is a proof that the house is detached because it becomes me'ila as well. It's considered now. It's a raya to rav. Amra ravach abrei de ravika. It's no raya to rav. Me'ila is different. Hana neres le'inayim asr tayra. Over there, maybe he argue, we argue on rav. We hold that there is no avodah zara in the house, the actual house. But over here, there's hana neres le'inayim. He's sitting under it, and that there's hana. I but the sana from something that's attached to the ground. Doesn't really explain. But in, whatever the case is, it's not a raya tarab. I'm just not sure why. Lema Messiah. Let's bring a proof to this. Hadar Babay Shal Hektish. Someone that lives in the house of Hektish, Kiman Shinanami Menamal. Once he has enjoyment from it, there's Meila. Amar Ishlakish. Ishlakish says, Hasam, over there there's no, there's no raya. He tried to bring a raya to Rav that it's considered separate, it's considered not attached, there's no raya. Because, Ishlakish explains, Hasam b'sheik disho l'b'seif bano. Over there, it was hektish first. Then you attached it. Notice the materials were hektish. And then you attached it. Aval bano l'b'seif hektisho. But let's say first you built it. Then, and then you're marked should my what would it then be loy yeah, if like you were going to say my what would be the din loy there would be no meila so gemara asks one second if you're going to say that my area what specifically is the reason that rahit bitani hadar babaya shamar loy why do you have to run and get a case of where is there no meila someone lives in a cave we could have said the exact same case, but just the way it was built was different. We could have, this is a Liflig Velisni Bedida, let it divide up the original case into two, into two cases. Oh, yeah, just like. Did you learn it in Haminia? What that means is that if you're looking just to say a contrast, <laughs> so pick the smallest. Pick the smallest thing to make the contrast. Pick the, the, in, in that item itself, make the contrast. Don't pick something uh, out of this. Amri, Gemara explains, There's no question that in a cave, there's never me'ila. In a house, sometimes there's me'ila, sometimes there's no me'ila. So we wanted to choose a case where there's never me'ila as a contrast to a house where there is me'ila, sometimes. Even though we could have done it in the house itself, but we wanted to do something that's psikale, that it's never, uh, that there's never Mila. So the cave is compared to the mountain top. The cave is the mountain top, right? Okay. Good day.